Welcome to the another episode of Abstract Thesis series. In this series, we are digging deep into the Power BI concepts. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for our new video. So in this video, what we are going to discuss, we are going to discuss how can we manually enter data in Power BI and how can we edit it. So under the home tab, we have option this enter data and in this enter data, we can actually go ahead and, you know, write down our own data. So let's say I'll call it as a name and then I can write down less names as let's say uh, a1, a2, a3 and here let's say if I want another column, I just can just click there and I can write down let's say age is 11, let's say 12 and let's say 11 again. Okay. So I can enter the data and once I enter the data, uh, it will load it like just like a normal table and I, then I can go ahead and see it. I can actually rename it uh, and let me go ahead and see the data. So this is the data I have. The, the, uh, the another thing which I can do is I can copy paste it from somewhere. So what I've done is there's some data in Excel I've created. So let me copy this data, control C and I can actually go ahead, click here and say control V. So I got all the data from Excel and similarly from web, I can uh, paste the data also some time if the table format is correct on the web, you will be able to paste it most of the time. But yes, uh, sometime at few places, you might not get header correctly, which you can actually edit and do it. Let's say if I might have got half of the data like this. So control X and control V. Uh, maybe I got it like this. So I can go ahead and control X, control V. I can go ahead and delete it. So I can go ahead and do certain operations. That's not a problem. Just like Excel, I can do few operations. It's not as strong as Excel, but you can, can do and I can call it, let's say data. So I can rename it here itself. I don't need to actually do it. And then I can load it. Now, see, we have loaded this data. Now the challenge here is how to edit this data. Now, if you click right here, you don't see any option to, you know, edit it or neither if you go here and right click here, see, you don't have any option where you can see uh, edit data, but we have one option, which is edit query. Okay. So let's go to edit query. Now in the edit query, if you go on the source and now double click, you got it. So let's say I want to modify this age. Let's say I want to make it 13, I want to make it 14 and let me leave it. So this lets me say, okay, I say close and apply. I come back, it refreshes and you can see the data. Similarly for this one, again, the second table data, which we have created again, I can go to edit query from here or I can go to transform data, transform data. We again reach to the edit query mode. I go to the data and I can directly click, uh, go to the source here and I can double click and I got this data lying here and I can actually change the marks. Let's say I want to make it 92 and this is, let's say 90. Okay. And then I can say, okay. And then once it is done, I can say close and apply. It will again load like a data and then I can come back and see. So you know how to enter data. So you can enter manually, you can copy paste it. And then from Power Query, you can go ahead and modify the existing data, which you have entered using enter data. So go ahead and try this out and do let us know your feedback on this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.